It is crunch time in the season. The last games of the season is coming up here. I'm Aaron 5 Welcome back to Night's Legend with Kyra Eli. And we are coming into the business end of the season. Two games in the league, followed by a cup final as well. Big games coming in because in those two league games, we could potentially secure top spot in the league. Also, we could win a cup as well. That sounds like a delicious episode, if you ask me. For any episode, though, if you missed the last episode, check it out on the channel. Or if you're new here, Make sure you check out the channel for the players, for Kyrie Eli, and of course our journey with the Undersea at Albion. So before we end this episode, let's talk about our last episode. We did some wonderful things. We got to the cup final uh, of the T2 League Cup again by beating Cambrian and Cliff this time. Uh, we lost in this cup 3 0. The less said about that, the better. And we won 3 0 against Cardiff Corries in a rivalry. Jay Thomas on hand with two, Dano on the squishy as well. Three more games to go in this season. Pontypridd away from home. Then we play Flint Town in the Cup Final, followed by Seven Sisters at home for our last game of the season. We are hoping a Manford will lose to Avonlea. We are hoping to beat Pontypridd and potentially secure the title. That is our goal right here. Nick Evans in goal, Bell, Gregory, Bennion and Egan in the back. We have Jones, Watson, Davis in the midfield. We got Egan and Owen in the wings and we have Jay Thomas up front. Let me save my game because I don't want to get crashed or anything like that. I just want to get straight into the game. We've filled the call with the youngsters. Obviously, got two Egans on the bench, two on the pitch. Sorry, Alan Egan and Big Matt Egan. Is it Matt Egan? It's Matthew Egan. Yeah, Matt Egan. Yeah, we'll say that. Matt. Uh, let's give him a number. Jordan Hughes. Do you have a number still? You do not. Um, you know what? You can have Kenneth Roberts's number, number nineteen. How about that? Hopefully, we can go uh, up this season and we can actually have more than just twenty-five numbers to choose from. That'll be lovely. Um, pick up where we left last time. We played really well against Cardiff Corries. Cannot be overstated how much we played well. Jay Thomas on two goals. Let's hope he can get more for himself here. He's close to 30. And he's close to breaking Eli Fifth's record as well. Um, we are confident he can do so. But we have to play Pontypridd first. We've not been in the best form. But they still are dangerous. So we've got to be careful. Let's hope for the best here as we kick off here against Pontypridd. Big, big game coming up here. Alan Egan on the ball early on. I mean, we've had a good season, but it counts for nothing if we cannot get the job done at the last end. Business end of the season, of course, we have two games left. This one and a game against Seven Sisters. And also a cup final in the middle, sandwiched in the middle between that. So let's hope we can get this job done here at Pontypridd. The cross goes in for Matt Egan, gets cleared away. Harper gets it away, but here's Sean Jones, here's Watts, here's Davis now. Looking to make up for lost time. Of course, he missed the game against Cardiff Corey to suspension. So he's starting here today. Bell on the ball. Here's Sean Jones. And Jay Thomas, can you be found? Bullock is there. Um, Egan? No. I should have played Cameron Owen, actually. He wants more game time, but it's fine. Egan's, Egan's a young player, so we can use him. Edwards? All day long. Nice one. Let's keep that going, people. Let's keep that going into this game. Alan Egan on the ball. Here is Sean Jones. Now, what's on the ball? He's got Dan Owen. He's got Jay Thomas ahead of him, but he might take it himself. Egan's in, Matt Egan. Big goal for Matt Egan. Matthew Egan inside, well, in the fifth minute of the game, his first goal for the club is a big one. It's 1-0. I mean, great pass here from Dan Owen. Took it himself, and Matt, it's not the best shot in the world, let's be honest, but it's a goal at the end of the day, and Matt Egan's just scored a big one. It's 1-0 to the boys. Come on. A Manford behind. Well, actually, a Manford not behind. They're still drawing. But we are ahead against pont de So if everything stays the same, we will be crowned league champions going to a cup final against Flint Town. Here's Dan Owen from the J. Thomas header. And Bullock is there. But here's Andy Davis. Great take from him. Here's Callum Watts. He's got time on the ball. He goes for goal. Oh, goes over. Goal kick. Went for goal. I don't know why he went for goal in the end, but it is what it is. But a big goal for Matt Egan. He burst through the scene this season, the 16-year-old winger, and now he scores his first goal for the club. A star for the future is Matt Egan. We're happy he's here. Um, I'm glad he scored. I'm glad he has scored. By the injury to Jane Williams in the last episode, by the way, if you've been keeping up, the injury to Jane Williams, he's out for the rest of the season. Two to three weeks, can't play. He's not in the team. Uh, he's injured, so big blow to the season. But we have given Matt Egan the chance here to shine on the right-hand side. And so far, has delivered. Jay Thomas, is he in? Jay Thomas? 
Jay Thomas for two. Oh, he's put it over the bar. Oh, Jay Thomas was in. I cannot believe Jay Thomas, he could not get that in the back of the net. That could have been 2-0. Maybe should have been 2-0. Considering the form he's been in. Fuck. Egan. Oh, lucky. We came close, we came close to a goal then. Gregory, here's Watts. Sean Jones, here's Egan. And now, can he find his way through? What a pass for Jay Thomas. Jay Thomas, can he finish that off? Oh, he deserves an assist, Egan, as well. Oh, what a pass into Jay Thomas. That should have been 2-0. Oh, frustrating so far. We take, we've got the lead, which is the important thing. But it's frustrating we haven't taken any more of our chances so far. Jay Thomas had a chance at a couple at the moment we've seen. He's blazed it over the bar. So we're still hoping for a big... Oh, God, please don't go in. Well done. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do not go in. Oh, please do not go in. I swear to God. Oh, it's gone in. That's, that fucking sucks. I'm not going to lie to you people. That, that actually sucks. <laughs> Benyon, man. He didn't have to tackle. Gregory did enough. And Benny went in for a challenge as well. And oh, we should have taken our bloody chances. Bloody Jay Thomas. Hope he scores to prove me wrong now. Oh, Benny, okay. It's fine. Here's Dan Owen. Did really well for the first goal. Here's Egan. Brilliant ball to him. Is he onside? I bloody hope he is. There's no calls for offside flags to go up. And it's 2-1 to carry, Eli, baby. Oh, we're back in it. Dan Owen again. Great switch to Egan. And Egan. Oh, he is onside. He's got to be onside. Yeah, he's onside. Pfft, no question. Egan, great pass into Jay Thomas. And Egan delivering again. I mean, there's going to be calls for offside here. Uh, that player, uh, the number three on your screen, the closest to Egan, is on playing Jay Thomas onside. So there you go. 2-1 to the boys. We're back in front. Let's keep this going. Sean Jones on the free... Oh, from a free kick from someone. And Dave's going to make... Matt Egan, what a performance from him today. He is delivering. Firing on all cylinders here today. Here's Sean Jones. Now Watts. It's a lovely ball. Is Jay Thomas going to get there? He is. Is he going to put it in the back of the net? He is. Flag is up. I saw the flag go up. It's offside. Oh, that could have been 3-1. That could have been 3. That could have been 3-1 here. Yeah, let's, take... let's see how close this is. Oh, yeah, he's pretty off, isn't he? He's pretty off, to be fair, so... A man for still in their game. Let's hope it stays that way anyway. Egan on the throw. Here's Jay Thomas on the ball. Egan to Davis. Here's Watts. Sean Jones on the ball. Dan Owen. Oh, he couldn't get there. Jay Thomas oh, flicks it on, but there's no one there for that header. And it's been cleared away. Gregory heads it to Watts, though. Has a good chance. Oh, Jay Thomas can get there. He got a head to it. It's in the back of the net. Is that going to get given? I hope so. No one's called for offside. It's 3-1. Jay Thomas on the double. What a pass here from Gregory. Is it Gregory that puts this pass? I think it is Gregory. No, it's Watts. Excuse me. Watts, the brilliant ball. I didn't think he'd get there, but he did. It's 3-1. Come on, the boys. Let's praise the boys after that. Let's praise the boys. Oh, Egan with an early goal. Penalty equaliser for Bontepri. Then Thomas on the double. That's put us ahead at 3-1, and we are on course for the title at this moment in time. Watts is corner in. It's been headed away by Pearson. Matt Egan brings it back for Watts to cross in again. Take two. Jay Thomas is there for a hat trick. Oh, Appleby's there. Appleby is there. Unlucky the boys, but we are looking pretty good. Let's hope a Manford lose. That'd be nice. Egan, good tackle from Alan Egan. Did really well there. Jay Thomas heads it to Dan Owen. And Dan Owen kicks it long. Jay Thomas should have been there, but he was the one winning the back. So we, we can't really criticize him too much there. Appleby clears. Benny does well. Here's Dan Owen. He's got chances here to get it past. A pass to anybody here. He's got options. He's opted for Bell. Which would have been my first. Wouldn't have been my first choice. Here's Watts. Sean Jones. Bell. Watts. Bell. Watts again. Bell. Here's Sean Jones. Had to, had, had to breathe in deep then. Davis. Oh, it's a good block. Good save. Andy Davis adding goals to his game. That's what we want to see. 
Order in from what's incoming. Oh, that would be easy. Easy for me to get to. Still the nil that game, which is nice. I like seeing that nil nil, which is good. Because we, we know we're on course for title then. We know a title is coming if that stays the same. Let's hope that is the case. Gregory has an Egan. Matt Egan looking for Jay Thomas. He's found him. Jay Thomas is all alone. He's got Dan Owen next to him. He's gone for goal. He's hit the post. Oh, Dan Owen. Oh, I thought he's gone. <laughs> Damn it. Dan Owen close to getting the goal as well. We've had all the chances so far, as you can see. 16 shots in the first half. 7 of them on target. At half time, it is 3-1. It could be anything at the minute. With the way things have gone. <sighs> what a performance from Egan. What a performance from Jay Thomas. Callum Watt providing a performance as well. It's all coming up with the best time here at the end of the season, the business end. We need this to happen here, and we've got it doing. We've got, we've gone and done it so far, and we are happily rocking and rolling. Let's hope for the best. Burrow on the ball. That's a free kick in it. Yep. Bell can't give away. Charges like that, please. Let's less of that, please. Let's let's keep this. Uh, Let's keep us going. And Manford's still drawing, which is good. Banging on the ball. Here's Watts. Watts still going. Lovely ball for Matt. Oh, what's for Matt? Matt, you get it though? Oh, my God. Davis! Ah. I'm getting too excited now. I'm getting too excited. It's it's all coming up. Millhouse in a minute. Sean Jones's free kick just goes over the bar. That was a big chance. That was a big chance. <laughs> Be five points clear of Manford, which means we'd be confirmed as champions. We'd be going up to the big leagues again. This time with Kyra Eli. Here's Watts on the ball. He's had a good game. Here's Bell. Jay Thomas? We got to Egan. Nice. Go on, Matt Egan. Go on, Matt Egan. Cross in. Dan Owen's there. Oh, he's just put it over the bar. He's put it over the bar. He's unlucky. 21 shots, 9 on target. So far... Looking good. A man for taking the lead there. 1 0 up. We're hoping Avenida can do us a favour here. But at the moment, there's still a chance of winning a Manford of the league. But we have that goal difference, so we just keep bumping the goals up if we can. Sean Jones, good ball in from Watts. There's Dan Owen. Oh, he should put it over the bar. We're going to make some changes now. Let's come to this. So, um, let's make a change. Who are we bringing on? Let's bring on Dan Eady for Dan Owen. Um, let's also bring on Grucock for Egan. Egan's on a yellow card. Let's minimise that risk of a red card happening. Uh, Lee Owen for Sean Jones. Yeah, that'll do it. Lovely jubbly. Just basically just try and freshen things up a little bit. Sean Jones with the header. Here's Matt Egan. He's had a good game today. What's on to Davis? Here's Egan now. Here's Davis. What's on the ball? Dan Owen's there. Thomas? Oh, he's put it past the post. Oh, he's put it past the post. That should have been 4-1. Avenida, if you want to score for us, that'd be amazing. They got an injury instead. All right, fair enough. Um, What do I do for changes now? I'm thinking about bringing off Jay Thomas, but I want him to get that hat-trick if he can. So if you can get that hat-trick, that'd be great. Bell on the ball. Here's Watts. Here's Davis. Watts again. Oh. What a Watts. Gregory's on the ball. Here's Bell. Come on, the boys. Gregory. Here's Egan. Bell again. Here's Davis. Oh, we're still playing. We're still carrying on, people. Grucock on the ball. Here's Lee Owen. Watts again. Oh. Still nervy stuff. Nervy times here in Ponte Breathe. We could potentially be sealing a title or potentially getting a big result here. It helps us in our particular time, but Ponte Breathe can still come back. That's the problem. Ponte Breathe can still come back. There's only two goals in it. And there can be threats. Go As you can see, there you go. Threats going forward. Oh, Nick Edwards. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, St. Nick. Avalido late goal. Come on, boys. Come on, Avalido. Gregory on the ball. Here's Lee Owen. Watts on the ball. Here's Bell. 
J. Thomas heads down to Matt Egan. Matt Egan, can he find his way? Oh, great pass to J. Thomas. Can he get his hat-trick here? J. Thomas! Oh, he's denied Bartleby. I'm giving him a chance to get his hat-trick, but he's not doing it at the minute. Here's Watts. Bell on the ball. Egan's in. Egan! Oh, nearly a good goal from Matt Egan as well. It's 1-1! One, one. Come on, the boys! Avalino, you legends! Come on! We're nearly there. Oh, you bastards. He's got a penalty. All right, never mind. <laughs> I just seen the equalise. I was like, yes, come on, the boys. And then, yeah, that happened then. But a big result for us anyway. We're at 3-1 at the minute. Greg for a man of the match, Matt Egan, by the way. He's been exceptional today. What a superstar we have on our hands. <sighs> big result. Big result. 3-1 on the day. It's a big, big result. Oh, yes. Let's give special mention to Matt Egan here. What a display from him. He was excellent tonight. 9.0 rating. Clean sheet. No, not clean sheet. Sorry. We conceded a penalty. Excuse me. But oh, that's a bit of, That sucks. But it is what it is. We have to play seven sisters and win there. But we are very close to that league title. It is coming, which is a good game against seven sisters. But for now, we got to focus from the league. Take our attention away from the league. To go for, to, to the, another cup. We've got another cup coming along. We've got the League 2 Tier Cup. Uh, what's a Tier 2 League Cup? Tier 2? Tier 2 League Cup? That's where it is, isn't it? Tier 2 League Cup? Tier 2 League Cup? Tier 2 League Cup Final. It's a big one. I mean, what a display from him. Tier 2 League Cup Final is against Flint Town. We're hoping that we can beat Half of West County. Well, we did, did try and beat Half of West County last season. Couldn't get the job done. But hopefully against Flint Town, a different outcome may occur. Let's hope for the best in this next game, which is a massive cup final. Woo wee! Cup game incoming. Cup final is here. Flint Town, Kyra Eli, North v South. It all comes out of this. We're in our second cup final in a row here. As you can see, the past winners. Last season did not go away internationally. This year, let's hope for the best. We're going to try our best here today. Nick Owens in goal. Bell, Gregory Benny, and Grucock in the back with Shaw Jones Watson, Owen in the midfield, Egan Owen in the wings, and Jay Thomas is up front so big big game big cup final here right now it is going to be a tough one against Flint Town they have been in a good form I think they should they probably are aren't they they top of the yeah, they're top of the table so it's top v top they're going up so we might see them if we do get promoted ourselves next season but we have to do our business here in the cup final before we can think about the next season so Let's hope for the best. Here we bloody go. Here we bloody go. Big game. Big, big game. <sighs> Pick up where we left last time. That trophy's ours. Oh, boy. There it is. There's the form for Flint Town. They have been in good form <sighs> compared to us. Anyway, us anyway, we've had that loss due to the New Saints. <sighs> Here we go. Big cup final. Big cup final. Here we are. Flint Town. Here we go. Big, big game incoming. Cameron is in because he wants game time. That's the only reason I put him in today. I've not... No tactics or anything like that. Nothing too crazy. Just simply because uh, I wanted to put him in um, for game time reasons. Uh, Egan keeps his place after his performance against Pontypridd. Played really, really well. An assist and a goal just looked really good down the right-hand side. Next season, definitely going to be our first choice, I think. Because we have to uh, keep with the youth uh, portion of the registration rules. Uh, have youth, every two players under 19. He's going to be a big part of that. Uh, we had an academy game just recently. The under 19s was the youth candidates. And we had got some good ones, a good crop this year. So, all's looking good. And bright for Flint Town. Good block. Good bloody block. Oh, boy. Over a thousand people in attendance here today for this big game. It's another cup final for us. We got here last season. We fell, fell the final hurdle. Can we make up for that last season and potentially get ourselves another another cup opportunity? Another a win here in a big cup. Ah, oh, there it is. 1-0. It's all happening again. It's happening again. It's 1-0 to 
Flint Town. It is not good. Inside 10 minutes to see us go behind. That's exactly what's happened here. It's 1-0 and Flint Town have deserved it through the chances they've created. We've created nothing so far. So on fair reflection so far in this game, it is deserved. But it does sting to see us go behind early on. But we have to believe we can come back here. And there's Nick Edwards on the ball, thankfully. Oh, maybe if I didn't play Cameron Owen on the, in the middle, maybe it would have been different. But I did like Egan last game. That's the only, problem, that's the only reason why I've put Owen in the midfield. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a crossbar. My word. It's not doing, we're not doing good in the first half. Flint Town been all over us at the moment. I mean, they've been the, they're the better team coming into this game. They've been the better form. We also had that one defeat to the New Saints in the Cup semi-final. But we are looking to bounce back. Oh, man. We need to get a goal if we can. Grucock. Here's Cameron Owen. Here's Dan Owen. Back to Cameron Owen. Here's Grucock. And we need to... Jay Thomas? Oh, he's not here. There is he. Watts is there, though. He had a good game last time. Oh, his pass didn't get through to Jay. Oh, man. 1-0 down inside the first 10 minutes is not what... Not ideal for us at the moment. Grucock. Look for Jay. Come on, Jay. Get on that one. That's all Jay Thomas is. Jay. Jay! Come on, Jay! Warren equaliser for Jay Thomas. It's 1-1. 30th goal of the season for the man. What a way to cap it off. Grucock's ball over the top into the path of Jay Thomas. Takes a touch. Hits her on the volley. Oh! You were never going to see a better goal than that in a cup final. Jay Thomas has proved... That to be the case. A first shot on target as well. The first shot of the game for us. And it's a fantastic goal for Jay Thomas. It's 1-1. And oh my word. That's what we need. That's what we need to see is a goal like that from Jay Thomas. Corner for Flint Town. And oh, it's a big, big goal for us. That was a big, big goal. We need that to happen. Oh, for fuck's sake. They've just scored a, a belter as well. Eden Bailey with 2-1. And that's just... That's just not nice. Like, just give my hopes up like that. You know what I mean? All right, I, we just got a wonder, wonder goal, and they just got one back. Like, oh, what's the point? You know what I mean? Here's Egan on the ball. Puts in the box. No one there for it. Gregory gets it back. Here's Sean Jones. Now Benyon. Now we need to get forward. Here's Cameron Owen. Now Grucock, please. Dan Owen. He's got options in the box. That option is Jay Thomas. There he is again. Come on. We are not going away today. It's 2-2. Jay Thomas on the double. And that is a goal we need to see in that one. Equaliser. Once again, Jay Thomas. Great ball in from Dan Owen in the box. For Jay Thomas's head to head on that one. And there is a lovely goal. No chance. Keeper. 2-2. Come on, the boys. Come on, the boys. No cards or anything so far. Just goals in this one. 2-2. Happy days. We've just got to keep... Keep it this way. Maybe get in front. Maybe if we get in front, maybe we might win the game. I don't know. Right now it's not looking too... Oh, God. Please don't. Oh, no. Don't score. Don't score. Don't score. Don't score. Don't score. Don't score. Oh, they've scored again. For fuck's sake, man. Why don't you defend? Just defend. Defend. Where's Gregory? He's nowhere today. It's three to bloody two. 3-2 half time. My fucking word, man. Ah, oh, I can't believe right at the end of half time we concede. Before half time we concede to 3-2. I mean, that's just not what I want to see. That's not what I want to see at all. I'm so disappointed in that one. In that goal, that goal was shit. I'm not going to lie to you. Their strike has been all over us, but that goal was shit. We could have defended better than that. Here's Egan. Benyon, he's in. Oh, why? Corner? We've got a corner. All right. We've got a corner, people. Corner for Watts. Can Watts whip this one in? He can. Oh, 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 for God's sake. He makes a mess with the keeper, but we don't capitalize on that chance. They're doing well defensively. We'll take off Cameron Owen in a second. I think. I think that's the change I'm going to make in the midfield. Bring on Annie Davis, which was my initial pick for the starting level with Annie Davis for that box-to-box -box midfield role. 
but I pressured him to give him Cameron Owen game time. That was the reason why he's in today. I don't even know if that, if that will count towards his playing time being fulfilled, so we'll see. Oh, don't go in. Please don't go in. Please don't go in. Please don't go in. Thankfully. Right. We're going to make... We're going to make a change in a second. Um, we're going to make that change for Cameron Owen to come off. And we're going to bring on Annie Davis because I think we need control of the midfield. As much as Cameron Owen's a good prospect, he's still not there yet. But we need some control in that midfield. Gregory. He's come alive in the second half, which I see. Bell, here's Egan. Come on, Matt Egan. Bell on the ball. Danny Gregory. Come on, boys. Come on, the boys. We've, we've done it twice before. We'll do it a third time. A third goal we can do. We've done it twice before in this game. Can we do it a third time? Let's make that change now before I forget. And it's too late. Oh, the he's not having like a bad game, to be fair. He's not having a bad game, but... That was that was the play I was making. Annie Davis in. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else we can bring on. Not at the minute. That's the one change I wanted to make. Let's make that change. Seal it. Signs you've delivered. Annie Davis in for Cameron Owen. We've made that change now. Hopefully... A little bounce in the midfield. Let's hope. But we'll see. If we get a free kick for offside. Oh, Jay Thomas on two goals today. I can't believe it's 3 2. I mean, they've deserved it, to be honest, with the chances they've created. But still, it's, it's a bit of a shame to be losing this one again. Bell's cross in. He's found Jay Thomas. Oh, he was there. He was there, Jay Thomas. He had the header, just the keeper. Was all over that one. Unfortunately. We're make a change. We're gonna make some changes in a second. Gregory's another free kick. He's found Jay Thomas. He's got options. He's got an option in the box, not options. But he's found Matt Egan, who puts it over the bar. <sighs> right. Let's bring on Dylan Edwards for Callum Watts. And let's put Ben in here and let's chuck on Leo in. I think I'll be the changes I want to make. There we go. Right. I'm going to go attacking. I'm going to encourage the team again. Let's work the ball in the box as well. I think that's a good idea. Out of all the things he's, he's suggested, that's one of the best ones he's done. Uh, we haven't had the ball in a while. The highlights are going faster and faster. The, the time's going faster. The highlights are, not, are coming less frequently. This is not a good I This is not good for me. This is not good for us. Egan on the ball gets tackled. But here's Davis back on the ball, looking for Jay Thomas. Not going to find him with a pass like that. And unfortunately, we lose the ball again. Terry clears it long. Oh, Flint Town are back on it in a flash. I mean, this is not what I want to see in a cup final. We had a good game against Pontypridd, and it was nice, a nice game to get into into this one. But oh, Flint Town are a different breed this season, apparently, and that's not a good pass at all. And that's going to be three. Well, sorry, four two, but it was not four two. Thankfully, we're gonna have to go for. We're gonna have to go for it. I have to make that last change. We've got two changes left. I'm gonna swap Dano in here. We're gonna bring on Reese Roberts, and we're also gonna bring on Paul McDonald for Gregory. Swap these two around. There's a manner where they play now. Where's Leon play best? Then he plays better there. Okay, that'll do. That's the one we'll do. Right. Oh man, made the last two changes of the game. I'm hoping just something happens because we need a goal to stay in this in this cup final. Oh, it's gonna be four two. Oh god, thank god. Oh, I can't believe we fought the final hurdle again. The last that we did this against Halfway County, we got there the final. We lost one nil. At least this one showed a bit of fight with the goals. But come on, Nick. <laughs> Nick Edwards joined the attack. Come on, Nick Edwards goal, please. Oh, there's no one. That's going to be all over, isn't it? Ah, oh, no. Oh, we've lost it again. Back-to-back -back finals. Back-to-back -back runners-up. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. 3-2. We gave some sort of fight. I'm not watching this. <sighs> Big shame. That's a big shame again. We only got seven sisters left to do. Oh man, I can't believe we didn't win that one again. <sighs> that 
That third goal kills off half time. Kills off half time, and it is what it is. Um, I don't even get any money for that, do we? Do we get any money for that? Did we get it last time? No, we got nothing. Yeah, 19k would have been the, the winner's free there. Which would have helped the club quite significantly, but it is what it is. We did get the biggest overachievers mark. Overachievers was under the Albions, but we had the chance there to make a statement, and we did not do that in the end. Um, that's a big shame. It's a real big shame. But we have to focus now on the league. Seven sisters at home is a chance to secure promotion and the title here. We're still three points clear of Manford. The goal difference is superior, but we still have to do the job at home against emphasis. Can we do it here? We're about to find out in this next game coming up for you right now. Holler, if you hear me. <sighs> Last game of the season is coming here. Um, Disappointment in the cup, obviously couldn't get that cup W, but as a chance to win the league here today by guaranteeing a result against Seven Sisters, a draw will be enough, but we obviously want to get that big fat W. Nick Owens in goal, Bell, Benny and Gregory, Al Negan in the back. We have Jones, Watson, Davis in the midfield, Cameron Owen down in the wings, Jay Thomas up front, Matt Egan on the bench. Uh, yeah, it's just disappointing we've not lost. Excuse me, that last game. In, uh, in the cup. Still a bit disappointed about that, how it went down. But it is what it is. Um, hopefully we can go up here. Um, we have a good goal difference, so it shouldn't be a problem, but obviously you know how football manager can work sometimes. <sighs> give him a great final day, people. Let's give him a great final day. Seven Sisters also fine for survival as well. But uh, we need to just basically make sure we secure a big W. A win would be great. A draw is enough. A loss puts it a bit tricky situation if a man for do indeed score a lot of goals today. Lantern Major can also do us a favour if they want to, but uh, we shall see how it goes down here today. Sean Jones on the free kick early on here. And he's found Danny Gregory. It's gone in. Danny Gregory. No problem whatsoever him. He's been a great signing since arriving at the club. And he has put us ahead against Seven Sisters. It is 1-0 to the boys. Sean Jones' free kick. Danny Gregory header. Keeper makes a mess of it. And that's a goal that we'll happily take. It is 1-0. And we are ahead. <sighs> that's beautiful. It's be look at that. Look at this oh, look at that. It's amazing. Free kick again. Chapman on the header. Oh, God. Could be an equalizer straight away. But Benny's on the ball now. He's got options to choose from. And he's opted for none of them. Here's Bell. Oh, Jay Thomas is in, surely. Jay Thomas for two. Oh, it's a good save. It's a really good save from uh, their goalkeeper. It's a better save than they did for the free kick there. Big chance to bell the throw. Here's Cameron Owen. Watts on the cross. And a header. Dan Owen was there, but he puts it over for the goal kick. But this is a very good first full season in charge of Kyrie Eli. We get to another cup final. And we potentially, at this, as it stands, will go up to the Premier League again. And win the league title as well. Dan Owen the ball. Here's Andy Davis now looking to launch it forward. He has done Jay Thomas. Oh, he had so much time with it. How's he missing that? A man for taking the lead, by the way, in their game. Here's Al Negan. Danny Gregory on the ball looking for Jay Thomas. Jay Thomas, how's he miss how did he miss that chance then? Dan Owen puts it over for the goal kick. Oh, should be two up at least, surely, at this stage of the game. Jay Thomas injured Bruce Thigh. We'll take off half time. Be fine. <sighs> Danny Gregory's goal so far is guaranteeing us that league title. And I see Albion's winning 3 0 in their game, which is good to see. Good to see Albion's. Hopefully they'll come up next season as we look to go up ourselves. Morgan on the ball. Oh, God. Don't score. Very right, nice. After this game, we'll be prepped for next season. Looking to add positions, certain positions to improve the team. Maybe some cuts will be happening as well. So we'll be looking at all ways to improve the team for next season. Bell's crossed in. He's found Dan Owen. Oh, it's at the post. Big chance. Big chance then to make it 2 0. Still look at, towards our second goal. It's not working out for us at the minute, but it is what it is. 
Mason the Waters, excuse me for that by the way, here is a good all the top ball, Danny Gregory's there. My man Gregory's been good in this game, he's been good defensively and he's got us the goal. Jay Thomas is in, he's onside, can he finish it off? Oh, he's put it over the bar again. Oh, oh half time? Half time soon? Sean Jones' free kick incoming. There's Benyon. It's not been uh, the most eventful for, well, I mean, we've had a goal, but it's not been consistent enough going forward as well. Let me just uh, tell them, don't get placed now, thank you always. We are in front, but it is only 1-0. Playing only Eli Phipps for this one. Edie's on the bench, which is nice to see. I don't think Edie will be playing next season for us. I think he'll be potentially cut from the team. Um, only because we've played playing a lot more players over him, to be honest with you. He's been a very good player for us when, he, when we came in. He was a very good player for us, but I think now it's time we cut loose of Dan Edie. And ended on good terms, because last time we we ended terms on him, ended our, our time with him with Edie. He was not in a good mood with us, and we was not in a good mood with the Albions. That was the problem. Um, so, now, we hopefully, he's seen this, and although, I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll keep Edie around. I don't know, maybe give him that Premier League outing he deserves. We'll see. Annie Davis' cross is coming in. Oh, Carol O'Day going out there. The goal kick. Still 1-0 in the Amanford game. But we are 1-0 up here, which is good. Sean Jones on the ball. Here's Alan Egan. We get that cross in. Oh, he tried it. But, wow, that was absolutely diabolical from their keeper. Oh, my word. Dano with the easiest goal of his life. Kevin Thomas. Another howler from him. It is 2-0 to the boys. Let's watch this again here. Egan's cross in is lovely. I mean, it's a great cross in. There's no one going to get on this one, though. But Kevin Tom should be dealing with that better than what he initially did there. I mean, what is he doing? He's on 7.2, but he made an absolute howler. I do not get that whatsoever, but hey-ho, it is what it is. What's on the cross, potentially? Oh, tackle for once gets there anyway. Here's Egan. Gregory on the ball. Here is Egan again. Oh, he's trying to play Phipps, who is on for Jay Thomas, of course. Cameron Owen heads it to Phipps. Oh, not too far off, you know. Looking good. Looking good. Toodle up. That's exactly what we want to see in this game. Excuse me. Dan Owen on the ball. Looking for Phipps. Oh, nearly. Nearly getting a goal from something. Nice to see Phipps score on the last day. As you can see, the table right here. We will go up with this. Big goal difference and three points clear for Manford. It has been a tough old road to get here, but we got there in the end, which is the most important thing. Cat what a ball from Cameron Owen. Dan Owen is in. Can he finish it off? He tried a good block from Kettle. It is a corner. We look at some changes. Cameron's having a good game. Same point we're in, not bad. Cross in, not found Phipps. 1-1! One, one. Look at that. Beautiful Lantern Major. You're doing something that we Wanted you to do has ruined the final day for a Manford because we're going up. Sean Jones, Dan Owen, good touch. Oh, still. Oh, I thought you'd get around there in the end. Nearly, Dan Owen. Nearly. Here's Alan Egan looking very good at left back. He's been very good since we've brought him into the team. Like, we've played him consistently. He's been really, really good. He's had a one off game here and there, but it's been a solid player. Been a solid player. Meets the registration rules. Davis, play him in. Oh, he's playing Dan Owen. I thought he was playing Phipps. Phipps got there, though. Oh, Eli Phipps, my man. 3-0. The boys are on fire now. It is 3-0. Happy bloody days. Eli Phipps on the score sheet for the last day of the season. As we look to gain promotion and the title right here, right now. We're going to make some changes here to freshen things up. Uh, Jamie Williams has come back from injury, thankfully. We thought he was out for the rest of the season. He's not. We'll bring him on. We're going to bring off... Dan Owen, actually. We'll bring off Dan Owen and chuck Jamie Williams on. Uh, Edie's, actually, Edie's also going to come on. So we're going to bring him, bring Owen off, actually. So there you go. Swap these two around. Happy days. Oh, actually, he's one star here. Oh, actually, yeah. That's, yeah. And then Dylan there does come on for, actually, no. It can be. Paul McDonald can come on. And then that is that for that. And then there we go. 3-0. Looking to make the use of the bench here as we 
look to close down the minutes here on this game and close down our season. It looks like we're about to get the league title. And a man for the losing 2-1 to Lightweight Major is 2-2 now. No man, ignore me. I thought I was thinking Lightweight Major do me a massive favour because you didn't need, you need to win anymore. We're winning 3-0. We're in a good position. But it'd be lovely to see a man for lose. That'd be lovely. Uh, final change. Let's make it. Uh, Dunno is on for Callum Watts. And then that is it. That is our changes. Give everyone some minutes uh, as we wind down the clock on what has been a very good season. Overall, in the end for us, uh, we got there in the end, getting the league title. There's Paul McDonald. There's 4 0. Happy days. We're just. We're now scoring for fun. I mean, it's just happening now. We're just scoring for fun. He's come off the bench and scored a goal. Edwards with the assist as well. McDonald on the head. Kevin Thomas knows that. I mean, how's Kevin Thomas. Oh, he's got 6 plus 6 now. I was going to say, he had a 7.2 earlier. But that is a result we want to see. 4 0 on the final day of the season, and we get to lift the JD South League title once again this time in a different club as we count down the seconds cutting on the counter referee there you go final whistle blown as we see the boys here they come look at them walk making that walk we're gonna watch it together we don't get to see these often we had a chance to do it twice we're in the cup but we do get to win the league here and we do get to see these cutscenes featuring Kyrie eli there's the title to be lifted by our captain. I don't know who that is. It's someone. I was hoping it was Paul McDonald. I know be Paul McDonald. I know who's the captain on the day. But here it is. Oh. Yeah. Come on, the boys. Whoa. Pyro. Confetti. I don't know how we got us in the budget. But here we go. That's, it is what it is. Look at the boys celebrating. What a season has been. We've got the title. There I am. Walking with the players. Leo Bell. Was the one lifting the title. Oh, we're doing cartwheels. Danny, you're doing cartwheels, ladies and gentlemen. As we achieve a massive, monumental feat here. We have just achieved the league title in our final day of the season. Arne Egan with a great display. Man, the match was Danny Gregory as well. So that's lovely to see. Uh, Arne Egan was on the same rating as him. Great performance all around. Happy with that. Brilliant stuff indeed. 4-0 on the final day. Lansford Major just making a Manford's day even worse by drawing 2 2 with them. A Manford runners up once again. We win the league and we do go up to the big leagues again. Kyra Eli. Oh, it's a different club, new grounds, but we are, oh, we are looking forward to seeing how we do in the Welsh League once again. We are back. Let's hope for the best. I mean, we're going to try our best here. We get a trophy. It's the first trophy in quite some time. Everyone's happy the promise has been kept, which is even better. And now the season begins for realsies. Um, can I offer people contracts yet? Or do I have to wait till I go up to the league? I have no idea. I don't know how it works. But we have a good wage budget, so we should be <coughs> A-OK. -okay. Hey, okay, but now the next season is upon us. Hopefully, we get a good preseason in. Hopefully, we get some transfers in, done and dusted, as we do make the jump from the South League to wait for it, the JD Premier League. Barry Town are going down. Half of West are going down. So we meet all these teams right here at the top, alongside Flint Town. What a season is going to be next time around. But that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I will catch you guys for the start of a new season in the JD Prem Company Premier with Kyra Eli. Hope you guys enjoy your days. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. Love you all. Peace out.